Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at importing uh, the footage from your raw, uh, the raw footage from your extras DVD. Um, looking at the car footage, and you'll, and in doing so, you'll be learning how to the difference between linear and insert editing. We will also look at uh, removing audio from a clip, and we'll do a few more things. So first of all, we're going to go to File, Import. And I'm just going to select all the car footage and press open. Okay. Now there'll be a storyboard that is in your extras disk with your raw footage, and this is what the storyboard looks like. So basically, we've got um, a gentleman opening his garage, finding his keys, walking towards his car, getting in his car, starting his car, his car leaves the garage. Right, so it's some really good practice material here for us to learn the basics of um, editing in Premiere. So in the first tutorial, we very, very briefly looked at uh, linear editing and insert editing. So we're going to do a little bit of linear editing and then a little bit of uh, insert editing. And you'll see why uh, insert editing is, has, has more control than linear editing. But uh, pretty much, it's a personal preference on which one you want to do. So let's um, look at the first one. We want to look at opening the door. So with linear editing, you can just drag these clips right in like this. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And um, one thing about this tutorial is that the microphone uh, is really dominating this uh, most of these tutorials. So you you won't hear the sound um, uh, from the the computer speakers that well. So I apologise for that. Um, you'll hear the director, um, which is myself, saying. Um, cut and action so one thing we would need to do is remove some of these parts so if we play this carefully action. okay so I've pressed play and pressing you can either press this button here play or press space and we don't want to hear that so let's cut that out and there's two ways we can cut it we can trim it right in all right and now it's gone so if we just play that now press space All right, and the other way we could have done it, well, I'll show you that, that part next. So we'll just get to the end. All right, so using your arrow keys or using this, you can just go back in time. Arrow keys give you a bit more um, control. So that's just using my arrow key. If you hold down shift, it'll go faster. And without shift, just using your arrow keys, it goes sl more slowly. Now the the other way to cut this out, rather than using the trim, is to use the razor tool up here and just click on the red line. We want it to cut and press delete. I have to delete the wrong part, so I should have got my quick selection tool and clicked on the part I wanted to delete. And that's fine now. Now I can move this clip back and forth using my selection tool. One thing we'll look at later is um, volume control, and we'll look at animating the volume in. A, in another clip, so because the, the way this clip starts, it pretty much starts very loud. We probably want this to fade in, so I'll quickly show you how how we can fade it. And I'm just, just going to go to Effect Controls and click on Volume. I'm just going to move the time back to the start. I'm just going to click on um, Add a Keyframe, and I want at this point in time the volume to be quite low, so I'm just clicking on here and moving the sound down. At about this point in time, we want the sound to normalize and come up to zero. So the sound will be animated from zero, time zero up to this time here, which is two seconds. And let's play that and listen to that. Okay, so as you can see, the sound faded in really nicely. Uh, let's let's insert another clip. So the next part is looking at the, the keys and pockets. Again, this is linear editing. I'm not doing insert editing yet. I'm just going to drag this in. Let's just press play. Action. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this in. Move this over here. And let's, let's look out for the cut. I don't think there was a cut in this part, but let's trim this back. A little bit of dead space there. Now let's just play, look between the clips and see if there's a change in sound as well. 
So you notice there was a bit of a change in sound there. I'm just going to add a crossfade in there. So if I go to audio effects, sorry, audio transitions and open crossfade and I'm just dragging constant power and drag that down to the audio layer. And this will this will keep the the amount of noise constant. It's almost like a, it's an audio transition. Let's play that and listen to this. Oh, I just, just heard the cut there, so I need to trim that back there. Move that back and add that transition in. Action. Right, so we just need to remove the action as well. So what what a good editor does, they keep play, uh, re rewinding the work and playing it until it's perfected. That's what I'm doing at the moment. So we can't hear the director saying cut or action now and we've got a nice constant crossfade here. Okay, let's look at insert editing. Now if I press space now, look what happens. The time scrubber actually stops at the end of the clip, which is very useful. So that's the perfect space for the next clip. So what we need to find out now is we need to look at walking to car, but instead of dragging this in, I'm going to show you how to do insert editing now. So I'm going to drag this into source, and if you're ever editing, always edit on uh, maybe a sound happening or hit it, edit on action. So at the moment, if we play, the feet aren't moving. Let's wait for the feet to start moving. We definitely don't want the sound called action. Okay, so let's edit on movement. So I'm going to set an in point here. The shortcut on your keyboard is I. And all this highlighted part here is the part we can use. And this, this part over here is the part we have pretty much um, trashed, if you like to put it that way. All right. Now I'm going to set an out point because that's the amount of um, time I want. We don't need too much time. We need to keep it interesting for the audience. And now I'm going to set insert that, which is this key here, or comma. So this is insert editing. Let's play that. All right, again, I'm just going to add a constant power in there. Let's do the next part, which is getting in the car from um, the outside point of view. So I'm going to drag this into here again. Let's press play first. Action. And let's wait for movement. Let's set an in point there. And let's just wait until the gentleman's foot is down here because we've actually shot this same shot again but from the inside point of view. And I want to show you um, what some smooth editing um, looks like. So I'm going to set an out point there as the gentleman's foot hits, uh, hits the floorboard with his left foot. And I'm going to set an in point there. So I'm going to insert this now. So I've got to set an in point here, out point here. Um, so it's basically I, O, and comma, or insert. All right. Let's get to the next part. So the inside angle view. So let's just scroll across. We know what we're looking for now. So I want the foot to hit there. All right. Again, for finer control, you can use your, your keys. The foot's hit there, so let's hit an in, in point there, and let's set it. Okay, we've got the car door, so let's let's set an out point on that little audio audio cue, which is the car door closing. <coughs> okay, again, let's add, let's do it, and let's have a look at that sequence so far. All right, so it's very, very smooth, especially this part here. Nice little sequence, the gentleman's foot going in and then his foot's in the same place from the inside car point of view. So, so far we've looked at linear editing for the first two clips. We've also looked at um, insert, in, in point and out point editing or insert editing. Um, and we've looked at um, adding a constant power, or, which, is one of the, which is under the crossfade menu in the effects panel to keep the audio level the same. Now remember with insert editing you can also insert between in the middle of a clip. So let, let's say we wanted to just um, add this in here. Let's quickly just insert. 
an in point there, and an out point there. And I'm just going to drop it straight in here. And what this does, it, it separates the two clips on either side, but does not um, uh, cut any of it out, the clips either side. They're getting in car and, uh, from both point of views. Let's undo that. In contrast, what the overlay will do, it will overlay it and it will go over part of the clip. So you've got insert, which will um, move the two clips either side, and then you've got overlay, which will actually go straight over um, the clips that are down here in the timeline. Okay, let's look at the next part. What I want to show you next is also how to um, remove some audio. So let's just add, add the next part here. So we're going to have um, the car starting. But as the car starts, I actually want to, I do want to add this MG logo here, but I don't want to have the sound from the MG logo shot in this. So what I'm going to do is it's quite straightforward. I'm just going to insert this MG part down here, but I'm going to remove this audio because I don't want that audio there. So to do this, I'm going to hold down Alt once and click on the audio track and press Delete. And now I can move this part over here like so, and the the volume of the exhaust will carry through. And I'll show what I mean. Okay, so we've still got the volume carrying carrying through there. All right, I hope I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial.